What is Divine Needle? My name is Nell. And Dee. We are a twin flame couple and we're going to be doing a cut across reading for Scorpio. I shuffle this deck with your energy into it. These readings are timeless so whenever it reaches you we do believe that it's your time to watch it. Uh, yeah, let's see what comes out for Scorpio. What's the current situation for Scorpio? Funny because I was getting ready to say destinies at play and the wheel of fortunes on the bottom of that deck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, current situation Nine of Wands and Ace of Swords. Uh -huh. Okay. That's interesting. Mm hmm. What's the challenge with these two cards? What's the challenge? Mm -hmm. like just magician. The Magi. Okay. What's been going on in your recent past, Scorpio? Okay. Oh! Okay, do it again. Six of Swords. Very good. Okay. No keys. What's it gonna go down in your near future, Scorpio? Okay. Two of coins. Cool. What's in your conscious mind, Scorpio? What is in your conscious mind? Queen of coins. What's going on in the subconscious? What's the subconscious trying to tell you? I feel like I take that one. Okay, Ace of Wands. Cool. How do you see yourself, Scorpio? How does Scorpio see them? Wow! <laughs> Two of them. And they flipped upside down. Oh, that one did land it upright. That's wild, isn't it? One upside down. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a new one on me. Two of wands. <laughs> okay. And king of wands in reverse. Okay. Ah, drop the control, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Our little Scorpios, they're so ornery. <laughs> Full of all kinds of vinegar and other things. <laughs> All kinds of vinegar, that's cool. <laughs> okay. How do other people see you, Scorpio? Okay. Yep, there's that wheel again. Told you. Wheel of fortune. Okay. What's the hopes and fears for Scorpio? Okay, I feel I gotta take that one. Okay. Strength. What will be the final outcome for you, Scorpio? Oh wow, I feel God take that one. Two, eight of swords. Okay, what will be under the underlying energy is eight of wands. Nice. Fast incoming energy could mean messages coming in too. Mm -hmm. Okay, in any way, shape, or form. Yep. But this fast moving incoming energy. Okay. Yep. Something coming in. Okay, that's the underlying. Okay, current situation. <clears throat> Wounded warrior. Could mean strength and stamina, that's what it usually means to me, but a wounded warrior is more uh, appropriate because of this recent past. Okay. Some or something that happens recent past, so could be that you're focused on that now. Okay, how do you see that? Yeah, the rest of the yeah. cards here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Ace of Swords talks to me about a new idea, a new beginning, a spark of yeah, mental energy. Okay, yeah. and this could legit be a new idea. And it likely had something to do with those eight of wands coming in. Mm, the yeah. message is coming in. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
challenged with that. Magician talks about manifestation, determination, but I feel it's like making it happen, okay? Whatever this idea is, it's a challenge to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's why the nine of wands. It's gonna be a challenge. Yeah. You're up for it though. I have faith in you, Scorpio. Scorpies. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Got anything to add to this? No. That's absolutely spot on. Okay. Recent past, six of swords. Talks about moving on to calmer waters. Okay. Travel. This could even be mental. Um, yeah. yeah. Moving. Just doesn't have to be travel legit. It could be moving legit like somewhere else. I think it's just purely moving on to calmer waters because they were, they were embroiled in their own heads. Mm -hmm. See? The other one underneath it. Yeah. Yep. They're moving on to calmer waters. Yeah. Which is good. Leaving a situation. Yeah. Okay. Leaving something behind. I say like, oh yeah. F it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. You got the nine of swords here too. Yeah, it's being up in your head. Anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, You're leaving that behind though. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the calmer waters. Yeah. Based on rest of the reading. So it should be just as it was and uh, further in the past. And you moved on from that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Wow. That's a first for me. <laughs> that situation. Mm -hmm. So we need to get a bigger table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, near future, two of coins. I feel you're gonna have balance. You're gonna find balance, okay? However that applies to you. Okay, how do you feel about this? Yeah, same. Yeah. yeah. This could mean within yourself and your outer self, this, yeah. Uh, But I feel it's more internal than anything else. Especially with all these swords going on, you know. Mm, yeah. Conscious mind. Queen of swords. Um, coins. coins. Um, <laughs> Pentacles. <laughs> Pentacles. Sorry. Yeah. Talks to me about enjoying your material okay yeah your material life mm -hmm. yeah. so enjoying your abundance mm -hmm. yeah, if you look at this card too it's it's very pretty very dressed up right yeah just enjoying yourself too so that is in your uh, consciousness right now so that's what you're focused on which is really good yeah. focused on being abundant yeah Mm-hmm. Subconsciously, Ace of Wands. That's the advice position. So I feel, uh, whatever this idea was that you had, right? Your subconscious wants you to know that you gotta try and focus on that. Okay? And try to make it happen. Uh, it is a challenge to make it happen, but... Uh, You're passionate about it. Keep your focus on it. Mm-hmm. For sure. Keep it on. Keep it up. That's the advice? Yeah. The advice position. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. How you see yourself. Two of Wands. Choosing a path to go down. Okay. Red pill, blue pill. Leaving one situation. Instead of the other. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at the at the rest of the cards here. What that could possibly mean. Hmm. It could mean with the 
this Ace of Wands, our new beginning. Mm -hmm. We're choosing another. The card can also mean moving forward with someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, moving forward with someone else, moving on to calmer waters, that Six of Swords, um, and not being so controlling. Because you got the King of Wands upside down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> King of Wands, that is the most controlling cards in the deck for me. Okay. But it's upside down. So you're dropping control. Mm hmm. Moving forward with somebody else to calmer waters. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Doesn't, doesn't uh, mean that it's gonna be in love because I, I don't see any cups here. So, well, maybe the magician a little bit. But yeah. it could be in career. Yeah, it could be with it's just with someone else. Yeah. Yeah. So there awesome. you go. That's really good. How others see you, this could mean that you are looking pretty lucky or going through a cycle. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a bit of both. Others see you as lucky. Yeah. In some way. Yeah? Yeah. Because you are the queen of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enjoy, and everybody sees it. Enjoying that abundance that you have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopes and fears, strength guards. Yeah, definitely a hope. Yeah. Hoping that uh, you're going to be brave enough to for this challenge. Okay. Yeah. It has to do with this. Yeah, you got magician. two aces on the ground. Notice the world card isn't coming out anymore, but the aces are all coming out. Yeah. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's happening in other readings too. You guys aren't the only ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, that big cycle finished and we're starting a new one. Yeah. That's cool. Final outcome Eight of Swords. Being up in your head way too much. So whatever that situation might be, it's gonna make you overthink. Okay. But yeah, don't try to do that. You feel like you're trapped in that bubble. Mm -hmm. And you're not. No. It is. Pop the bubble. Yeah. Ace of Wands, this stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's the advice. Using balance. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're gonna find balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. But and it could be they're up in their head, could up in their head a bit because maybe they're juggling a lot. Because mm -hmm. two, two of pentacles could be that too. Yeah, could also points. be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think. Yeah, I feel you're gonna take balance, find balance within. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it could be that you're gonna be up in your heads, too. Yeah. But, that's just mental. And the Archangel Guidance card tells them what to do about being all up in the head. Go ground yourself. Outdoors. <laughs> Archangel Jean-Fiel. Go outside. Get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Yep. That is Does perfect. that card not line up or what? That, that is That just perfect. proves that my cards, when I shuffle and bring up the Archangel Guidance always goes right in with the cards he's putting on the table so yeah. the energies work together definitely mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> that's awesome that's cool yeah but don't be up in your head focus on that new get outside and ground <laughs> have focus some fun on that yeah. lighten up whatever this might be that you're struggling with the manifest keep at it okay? yeah and behave yourselves yeah drop the control Whoever you're moving forward with, it looks like that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Maintain <laughs> balance. Maintain balance. Maintain balance. <laughs> yeah. Be the juggler. Yeah. Way to go, Scorp. There you go, Scorpio. Hope you liked that. Comment, like, subscribe. That would be awesome. And share. And share. And join us on our stream this Sunday. Well, you might get a free reading. And... Or you can book us, uh, yeah, you can book us to get a private reading too. The information will be in the subscription, is that? 
No? In the description. Description. Yeah. Yeah, in, yeah below the video. And yeah. uh, live stream is 8 p.m. Sunday. Click the little bell if you want a notification to get a, possibly mm -hmm. get a free reading. Yeah, if you're on time. Have yeah. a grand week, Scorpio. Yeah. Ta-ta.